Hello, I am Vic of East Market Biz, and for today, I am going to show you this um, coin. All right, so the name of the coin is DAV coin, and it is under the DAV network. So this coin is has high potential, and I'm going to show you why. Right, so. Let's go to their medium page. So DAB is a descent or a centralized autonomous vehicle. So it's a blockchain based transportation protocol. So this is their medium page. Okay, so multimodal transport services are a reality. There are also announcements and updates here. So this is their autonomous boat. Okay. Their drones, All right? So there's a lot of articles here regarding DAV. So what is DAV? So DAV Network is a blockchain-based transportation platform, and they are building the infrastructure for the Internet of Transportation that enables vehicles to discover, communicate, and transact with one another using DAV tokens. Right? So from the editor that is from the editor so this is their founder who is Noam Koppel their CEO their developer is Tal Utter Rachel Lenuel Joe Lepardo their co-founder right so Bradley Berman okay so this is their um, medium page right so they also have their you can also find um, DAV foundation in Wikipedia and of course they also have their website so let's go to their website so let's go back to the start or start to the top so DAV the coin of transportations blockchain based transportation protocol enabling a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer global transportation network So they are building a decentralized infrastructure to revolutionize the transportation industry on the blockchain. So the, there's an overview here and you can, you can just click the um, video. Also there's um, a video here showing that there's the first Australian company to utilize their protocol for shipping and logistics. Right, so DAV's protocol allows anyone to utilize transportation services or put their manned, their own manned or autonomous vehicles on the network, creating a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer transportation e ecosystem. So what blockchain means to the transportation today? So these are the three: so decentralized ride hailing, convenient city transportation, and decentralized manned deliveries. Okay. So what blockchain means to the transportation tomorrow? So those are these are autonomous drone deliveries, autonomous carriers, and autonomous ride sharing. Okay. So the blockchain enables so a verifiable ledger of historical data from service providers, men or autonomous vehicles, and users needed for insurers and third parties. A completely decentralized system that isn't controlled by any government, bank, or company. A global payment standard between vehicles and their supporting infrastructure. A built-in smart mission contract which enables trustless operation between multiple vehicles and service providers. So their technology. So it's a framework of that is a framework of open source software, open source hardware, and a free decentralized marketplace where anyone can buy and sell autonomous transportation services. Their technology consists consists of three major components. So, first one is decentralized discovery, second one is communication protocol, third one is trustless cooperation tools. So, decentralized discovery. So, DAV allows autonomous vehicles to discover each other, as well as service providers and clients around them. DAV implements decentralized node discovery using a peer-to-peer -peer protocol that does not rely on a central server. 
Instead, nodes are listed in a distributed hash table which can be accessed in an extremely efficient way. Okay, so the DAV communication protocol. So, DAV defines a library of standardized communication protocols for various transportation scenarios. This communication is added into two groups, or divided rather. So, on blockchain communication, done directly by calling smart contracts and through events emitted by those smart contracts. Off blockchain communication, done peer to peer using DAO's protocols. Okay. So, the third one is trustless cooperation tool. So, the trustless cooperation tools between buyers and sellers of transportation services is achieved using a series of specialized smart contracts. These smart contracts enable multi party contracts between buyer, seller, and the needed, between arbitrator, insurer, and others. So these contracts are tied in directly to the DAV token, guaranteeing financial resolution for transactions between multiple parties without requiring any pre established trust. Alright, so they, they, they already made um, a lot of protocols. Okay, so let's review it. So these are the community community built modules. The first one is a drone charging network. So according to this statement, it states that there's um, an available network of five charging stations in northern Italy made by their DAV Alliance member. So the, these stations offer charging state services through the DAV network in exchange for DAV tokens. Right. And the second one is drone flight planning. So it is currently offered in Nevada, USA because there's an alliance member already doing this protocol. Okay. So it's very nice. Third one is a drone missions app. So the current status is integration. The first drone partner, Copter Express or COEX, is underway. Next one is a DAV CLI testnet. Its current status is fully functioning testnet and identity generation already used by foundation projects. Work on connection for connecting the registration functionality with the identity smart contract is in progress. The next one is a DAV developer portal. So the current status for this is there's multiple communication protocols written and a user guide for our CLI tools is now available. The next one is the Block Explorer. So work is underway to package the Block Explorer enabling it to launch automatically from the dev CLI tools. Okay, so the next one is a mission control. So fully working for run, running simulated environments with drone deliveries. Currently being expanded to support the vehicles of their first partners. The next one is autonomous boats. So DAV and the California Maritime University are developing an autonomous boat called Nemo, which launched when launched at the end of September. Nemo will be tasked with, with collecting oceanographic measurements at the San Francisco Bay. When Nemo runs low on energy, it connects to the DAV network purchase and pay for charging services. The DAV tokens and after it charges, head back to sea. Nemo will demonstrate true autonomy by spending money to take care of its own needs, allowing it to operate independently for long periods at sea. So this is very very interesting. So the boat is ready. Here's the boat. And the work on the onboard computer and its final integration with the DAV network is in progress. So I found, a, I think I found a, an article it, an article of it here so here's here it is so Dab hits another milestone the autonomous boat mission here is the boat they are pleased to announce that they have completed Dab's autonomous boat milestone in a, in a joint effort with the University of California Maritime, Maritime Academy Dub Nemo the boat was tasked with patrolling a set of waypoints in San Francisco Bay Area and taking oceanographic measurements. The boat is autonomous, it is given a set of orders and constraints, constraints and it decides how best to fulfill its mission. So Nemo is powered electric electrically 
when it determines that its battery level has gone down beyond a certain threshold, the boat sends out requests for charging using the dial network. When someone responds, the boat meets the responders, receives a charge, and then heads back out to the to continue its mission. Okay. The boat finds and communicates with potential charging providers over the nav DAV network. This milestone is important in that it pro proves that the discovery and communication functions of the, net of the network are robust and can facilitate contact between transport assets, autonomous or otherwise. See the li live updates from tweet Nemo at its Twitter account here. So Nemo has its own Twitter account also. So here's the bulk. Nemo. Okay. Here is Nemo. Right, so let's go back. And this one's a search and rescue robot. Davin Husarian, a robotics prototyping platform, are developing a POC involving an autonomous robotic rover that will perform drone search and rescue missions. The rover will build will bid for missions to locate drones that have lost contact with their owners. Go to their last known location and then using its onboard LiDAR and computer vision find them and send back their exact coordinates. So this is the search and rescue robot made by Usarian. So Rossbot's computer vision algorithms are being updated to support identifying drones. So that's very interesting also. As you can see, there's a lot of updates made by their protocol. Right, so this is the roadmap and it's it's nearly um, com ne nearing its completion. Okay. So it was founded in January 2017. So you can view their white paper here also. Okay, so there's here's their team. Right, so there these people are very influential. They're from NASA, from Ethereum, from Equinix, from SAP. UPS from Bancor, from IBM, from Cisco, and from Ford. Right? And there are also a lot of open source contributors. And also the DAV Alliance. They have their DAV Alliance. The DAV Alliance brings together members of the transportation industry so that they can collaborate on standards and innovations for a global decentralized network. Okay, so these are the list of all their alliance members, and you can also view the alliance page here. So let's go to their alliance page. So the NAV Alliance is a coalition of enterprises, innovators, and leaders in the transportation industry. Their purpose is to bring together members of the transportation industry so that they may collaborate on innovations and standards for a global decentralized network. So the members of the DAV Alliance benefit from shared knowledge and influence. So members of the DAV Alliance benefit from shared knowledge and experience amongst members, but also gain value from interest group that could have an, a greater ability to influence policy and mind share regarding autonomous vehicles cross jurisdictions blockchain technology and the DAV protocol so that's the second one so they have access to the latest technology innovations trends and learnings within the blockchain industry from the leading technologists experts and strategists co access to blockchain applications and the DAV protocol specific to the future of transportation so they are building a decentralized commons for all. So the Alliance members will be at the forefront of decentralized transportation and autonomous vehicle adaption by the mainstream. It is, uh, it is their goal to help bring this remarkable technology to the world and to share the benefits and successes with their members. So they invite you to become a part of their global mission where access to safe, efficient mobility 
is available to all and where anyone or anything can be moved anywhere with just one token alright so the alliance members okay and you can also become a part of the alliance members membership member without that alliance rather by f filling out this form okay so join the alliance so more than 100 developers are working on DAV technology since DAV is an open source project anyone can contribute to it and new features can be rapidly coded and released so there's a github okay so that is their alliance page and they also have their telegram group so you can join their telegram group also and also they have their weekly um, update in youtube so if you want to watch it subscribe to their youtube page okay so knowing the importance of your trust they believe they built that was one of the most open and transportation or transparent organizations in the world so get to know their team will be highlighting they'll be highlighting the most important technical and business developments were developments were engaged in every week okay so here it is and, and some facts about DAV so what is DAV why does this need to be on the blockchain autonomous vehicles seem far in the future how can this be applied today so the answers are here in the website okay and of course their contact information all right so that is the dab network so let's go to their youtube page so this is their youtube page and now i'm going to subscribe right and click the notification bell so they just up, um, uploaded one video okay and here's their Twitter so at DAV network all right so I think that's it guys right so before I go I just want to say that I'm not a financial advisor everything I say here is not a recommendation to buy and sell crypto and you must always do your own research okay for deciding for yourself right so i think that's it so see you in the next video bye bye